Hello, today I will um, show you some examples of uh, radio noise generated from grid inverters. May you remember the discussion about the die grid inverter and the second relay, which is uh, necessary by VDE, which is a norm and not a law. But there was a very emotional discussion about that into Germany, especially, of course. Um, and um, yeah, the second protection was the discussion cast point, but no one discusses about the real problem, the EMV problem of these grid inverters. And I will explain you that. Actually, we are on 10 meters, 28,500. There is a, there's a guy from the US, actually, at this time the band stats are opening up right now, we're right after noon, and uh, yeah, he's just rising up to 5 and 9 if, uh, uh, if he's transmitting, you know, to some other signals on a spectrum, but absolutely zero noise here. Um, this only only um, uh, the station from the U.S. actually uh, talking here on the 28500. Um, and also uh, on the other bands, you see some some signals, but absolutely zero noise. Same on 15, same on 17. Um, there are signals, of course, uh, from radio amateurs. Same on 20, and uh, on the on the shortwave bands for for maybe. Uh, the ship operation or for aeronautical operation it's exactly the same zero noise and some signals are on but now let me switch on the grid inverter and you will notice the huge difference just a moment yeah i will take you guys live with me to switch on my die 12k grid inverter here right now actually the sun is not shining that much so we would not produce that much of uh, electricity but anyhow it will be switching on very soon this is the uh, die 12k model actually i'm using here with some batteries and um, a few kwp of uh, solar power and uh, this is a very popular one and by the way a very good one it has some protections some emv protections inside but it seems to be not enough because you will notice after that um, grid inverter will be online uh, we will have a huge noise on the shortwave and also on the vhf and uhf spectrum so um first of all we have to wait just a couple of seconds before this um, uh, inverter switches on. Actually, uh, we are taking uh, 840 watts out from the grid, zero from the solar panels because I just switch it on right now, and on yeah, only uh, five watts right now, which is the internal power from the batteries, which are really low charged right at the moment because of the bad weather we had the last couple of days. So until I will move up to my uh, to my radio shack. Uh, at this time, I guess it uh, will be switching on and will be um, uh, back uh, back on the grid. Just a moment. Back on the radio. Did you remember the zero noise screen over here? Actually, uh, you still notice the uh, the signal from the guy from the US, but you also see every few KC we have these birdies and this is noise from the grid inverter same over here you see a white noise same over here you see every few cases just to dig it on now in between the band is still clear here but all these birdies are coming from the grid inverter and from the MPPT same on all the other bands as well so as a result, we can say this grid inverter produces a lot of noise on HF and also on VHF, UHF. Um, May, if that is in an interest, that I can show you that on a spectrum display uh, on a different receiver. Now, you can say, is it an issue for me to have um, RF noise here close in my house? Yeah, it could be an issue for you. It's not only your Wi-Fi. It could be an issue if you're close to an airport. It could be an issue if you want to use a grid inverter on your boat or, or you're nearby someone who used to have um, HF applications. So in any, in any case, in any fact, um, there is a law that 
says you have to reduce your noise on a minimum. And it seems like some of the grid inverters does not um, yeah, reducing that noise to a minimum. You, you see my antennas are far away from my house. My antennas are more than 60 meters, 70 meters away from the house. And even 70 meters away, I could notice that noise. So um, think about that. Think about by installing grid inverters uh, nearby to RF applications. And I guess this is the main issue, not the secondary uh, protection, not the secondary relief. The main issue of most of the grid inverters is the RF noise. So thanks for watching and I would like to have your comments below about this theme. Thank you.